Suppose you want to buy sex and anger equally. This is what you can do. Put a pin in the center of the anger and anywhere, whatever distance you want, you mark the distance for both sides. You can change the pin, the distance, or you can leave it as it is, but this time around, you mark it in the corner. And if you then join the dot here and point here, you can draw a straight line and you can actually see that they are bisect together and you can test it by using a rotogram this way and I can turn it this way to show that they are exactly the same. Bisecting angles can be uh, used to create very interesting patterns. So you could draw a circle and make an arc, a mark on this, on the circumference, a mark on the other side. You can then move back without changing the dimensions. You can make another positions. You now have got three points. If you keep going, you can make another point. But what I want to show you is, if you then draw the line on this point, and the line on this point, you've just created a angle. Now you can do the same thing by changing the dime, by bisecting together. You can just you know cut it, draw one line across, or you can make an arc without changing the distance. Okay, you do the same, but this time round, stretch it a little bit further up. So you can get the position, yeah? You can do it on here. You can know that it is positioned it correctly, yeah? You can then, you've just bisect this angle into two. Now you can keep going by, so I've got already have one line here, yeah? You can do it here and here. And do an arc here, put it here, do another arc here. I've just bisect the angle again and you can just keep going and it creates a different pattern within a circle.